Welcome to Eastern Tennessee. Carved inside the Earth's oldest mountain chain and estimated to be 20 to 30 million years old is Tukalichi Caverns of Townsend, Tennessee. Known as the greatest site under the Smokies are the highest rating caverns in the eastern United States. The caverns are rich of history and lore in recent years as well. You will find the big room on one end of the tour that could almost fit a football stadium inside it. On the other half of the tour, you get to view Silver Falls. It falls 210 feet from top to bottom and the tallest subterranean waterfall in eastern United States. And millions of formations are viewed along the one and a quarter mile round trip adventure. Right side after this big old staircase, okay? We're going to start heading towards the big room. We're going to stop and learn about this basic four formations on the way to the big room. After the big room, we're going to head back the way we came and then head towards the waterfall side, okay? Uh, you guys will be walking about a mile and a quarter throughout this whole tour, okay? That's the entire tour, mile and a quarter walk. You'll be walking down 205 stairs and then back up those same 205 stairs, which is 410 total. Now, this does freak some people out, just so you guys know, they're not all the ones, they're actually quite spread out. In fact, the most stairs that you do at any one time is 87. That's the very beginning, walking down, not much of a sweat. Uh, at the very end, you have to walk back up all of them. But guys, just so y'all know, we are not running a marathon throughout this tour. Uh, we meander, we take our time. So if you guys need to stop and you come take a breather, especially on the staircase, please do. Don't wear yourselves out, all right? No exceptions to this one. If you break it, again, formation is actually a federal offense, okay? That means it carries $10,000 fines and 10 years in prison, okay? There's a few low points in this first tunnel, so you guys on the taller side will need to watch your heads. But just so you guys know, there's no tight squeezes, no claustrophobic moments in this cave. a 60 foot drop straight down uh, to the exact right of us as we walk down the second half of this staircase. Now, if you guys are a little bit afraid of heights, I've got some advice on how to deal with them in this spot, okay? So, if you're afraid of that drop to the right, just look at the wall on your left. This cave was actually discovered in the early 30s by two young boys. They were only they were best friends. Now, the six year old's name was Bill Vananda, and the eight year old's name was Harry Myers. They actually discovered this cave in that sinkhole where you guys entered. Okay, that basement we were standing in was actually a sinkhole. Okay, now in the early 30s, that's where Bill and Harry hung out because the constant 58 degree temperature from this cave would actually come up to the surface and then act like a natural AC unit. One day they investigated the source of that cold air and they actually found a hole that led down into this cave. Bill and Harry discovered the largest cave system in the entire east. Because it's very large, they obviously wanted light sources to explore with. Now back at the age of six and eight, they had to engineer their own light sources, which were literally just Molotov cocktails, okay? That's what Bill and Harry explored this cave with, literal explosives at the age of six and eight. Now, to actually get into this cave and to get down from that drop right there, they tied a rope around that ledge and then just sort of like rappelled down into the cave with their bombs. Uh, Bill and Harry are pretty crazy. They explored about one fourth of this cave that you can see today, but eventually they grew up. They went on to college. After college, they went on to World War II. And then after World War II, Bill and Harry actually came back to Tennessee and they decided to turn this cave into a tourist attraction. They did this by buying 200 acres of land around this sinkhole and the mineral rights of that land beneath it. Now I use the word bought very loosely. It actually took 64 years to pay all that land off and get it under our ownership. But at the time, about 1949, it was their land. And then in 1953, this tour was open to the public for the first time. Now this is our 66th consecutive year of running people through this cave. In fact, the Vananda family still owns it. Uh, Bill Vananda's two sons actually run this place and Bill's one of the two kids that actually found this cave. Yes, this fight scene down to that ledge, that's the first of our formation. 
formations, okay? Those are known as stalactites. Now, right below this row of stalactites is a cluster of stalagmites, okay? It's called cave litter. It's just water droplets that stick to the surface of algae. That's how it is. It's pretty, but it's nothing like valuable. It looks like glitter. Yep, it's called cave glitter. Yeah, pretty crazy. This third type of formation is what's known as flowstone. Now, the way I help my tours remember flowstone is that it kind of looks like soft serve ice cream that's melting and hanging down from the ceiling or ledges. Y'all see that resemblance? You're gonna see a whole lot of flowstone throughout this cave, and it is formed by underground waterfalls. That's what gives it that flowing look. Now, this hunk of flowstone y'all are looking at, because it's what's known as flowstone falls. The largest and the oldest formation we've ever found in this cave system. This hunk of flowstone that you're looking at is estimated to be about 25 million years old. That's very, very old. To top that off, it's about nine feet thick at its thickest. Now, to give you guys some perspective, this formation would have formed in about 10 cubic inches per 100 years. All right, that's very, very slow. So, 25 million years old, nine feet thick at its thickest. Also, some more fun facts, it starts over 90 feet up, way up there, and it's about 30 feet from end to end, all right? That's a lot of formation. Now, this formation is considered dormant because about two million years ago, it literally grew so big that it plugged the hole that the water came out of that was forming it, all right? It literally got too big for its own good. Because it's dormant, that means something very special for you guys. It means you can touch it. Whoa! Touch the cave rock. All right, so let me show y'all how it's done. All right, you're gonna take your hands like this. All right, then you walk by close to a fall. Check this out. It's pretty mind blowing. Take your hand and then you go like that and touch it. I know, absolutely insane. One of the best parts of the tour is when you enter this big room. We are standing on what seems like an edge of a cliff. Looking out across the way, you can see some formations that look like cactus. The guide explains their actual size and how it was an optical illusion that they did not look as tall as they actually are. It has stalagmites up to 24 feet high. The so-called big room is more than 400 feet long, 300 feet across, and 150 feet deep. A real great experience. One to never forget. So guys, this is the big room all lit up. At this point, y'all can stand back up, you can walk around. We're going to spend a few more seconds in this room, guys, but we're going to start heading out towards that waterfall very slowly. So, guys, go ahead and start following me. There we go. This one we're 
lot to touch. earthquakes and underground nuclear tests from all over the world. Thank you. 